the wolf and the kids. The, there was once a goat who built herself a hut in the forest and lived there with her kids. And whenever she went out to eat some grass, she told the kids not to open the door to anyone. After the pasture, he came back home, stopped by the door and began to sing out. My kiddies own my children dear, open the door for your mother is here. Open the door and you each have a treat, for I bring you milk which is rich and sweet. Hearing their mother's voice, the kids rushed to open the door and let her in. And the mother gave them some milk and then went off to feed on the grass again. Now the wolf heard the mother goat call to her kids. But she couldn't quite make out the words she used or see how sweet her voice was. So, after a time, he came up to the goat's hut and called out in his gruff voice, Open the door, my kiddies do, for your mother is here with some milk for you. Open the door and you'll each have a treat. For I bring you milk which is rich and sweet. The kids knew it wasn't their mother calling. And they called back. We won't let you in, whoever you are. For it isn't our mother's voice. Her voice is thin and sweet. The wolf walked off a little way and sat down behind some bushes. And then... He went back to the goat's hut again. He walked up to the door and called in as sweet voice as he could. Open the door, my kids do, for your mother is here with some milk for you. Open the door and you each have a gift, for I bring you milk which is rich and sweet. The kids rushed to open the door. But they thought better of it, for they saw that the words the wolf had used were a little different, and his voice was far from being as sweet as their mother's. They stood there and called back. We won't let you in, whoever you are, for that isn't our mother's voice. Your voice is thin and sweet. And the, words, and the words she says are different. The wolf walked away, ill-pleased, but he didn't go far and sat down behind some bushes. He sat there and waited for Mother Goat to come in order to take the sound of her voice and to hear more clearly what it was she said. Soon Mother Goat came back and called. My kiddies own my children dear. Open the door for your mother is here. Open the door and you each have a treat. For I bring you milk which is rich and sweet. The kids knew at once it was their mother calling. They let her in and they told her that someone had had been coming to the hut and trying to trick them. And Mother Goat fed them, asked them not to let anyone in on any account, and in order that they might not make any mistake, told them just what she would say the next time she was at the door. She spent the night at home and early the next morning went out to feed on the grass again. And as for the wolf, he began to think what to do in order to make his voice sound like mother goats. He called out once and his voice sounded very gruff. He called out this a second time 
and it was still much too much so. And she called out the third time, trying to make his voice very, very thin. But it was unlike Mother Goat's as ever. Now, a fox came running up just then and heard a wolf hollowing. She stopped and came up to him. Why are you hollowing so, wolf? she asked. Is it that you are very hungry? I am only practicing, Sister Fox, the, the wolf replied. I have found a goat's hut, but I cannot get at her kids. They won't open the door, for they can tell it isn't their mother calling. So I'm trying out my voice in order to make it sound as much like yours as I can. Nothing will come of it, wolf. Ask me, and I will tell you what to do. Do, please, and I will be ever so grateful. What will I get from you in, in return? If only I catch those kids, I will let you to have one of them. Oh, no! That won't do. Who knows when you catch them? I'm hungry right now. You bring me a goose, and then I'll tell you what to do about your voice. The wolf agreed, and he ran away to get the fox a goose. He spent a long time near the river and trying to catch a goose, and in the evening he finally caught one. He ran back with it to the fox and gave it to her and said, And now, sister fox, you must teach me how to change my voice. Here is what you must do, wolf. You must go to the blacksmith and ask him to forge you a new throat. Then you will be able to bleed like a goat. Where will I find the blacksmith? There is a smithy on the edge of the village. You will find him there. The wolf did, as the fox told him, and he went straight for the smithy. He came up to the blacksmith and said, Please, blacksmith, forge me a new throat for I want to bleed like a goat. What will I get in return? I don't know what you want. We animals have no money, but I can make you a gift of some kind. Well then, wolf, bring me a pair of live geese, and then I'll forge you a new throat. The wolf went to the river bank, managed to catch two geese and carried them to the blacksmith. He felt very cross, for he would have liked to eat the geese himself. But this he couldn't do, as he had to keep his promise. He brought the geese to the blacksmith and said, I have brought you what you want, blacksmith, so now be quick and forge me a new throat. Very well, wolf, it's time to get to work, the blacksmith replied. Stick out your tongue as far as it will go, and close your eyes, and I will be quick and do the rest. The wolf stuck out his tongue and closed his eyes, and the blacksmith at once seized his biggest hammer and struck the wolf with it over the head. The wolf fell dead, and as for the kids, they remained alive and well.